All right, topology. <laughs> um, here's a little fun way to go about faces. Uh, it's not every face, but it's a lot of faces. Like pretty much if it's humanoid, it'll it'll work. Um, so basically, it just uses a starter mesh, which I've, I've blocked out. Yeah, mate, fucking link in the description, mate. Fucking download that OBJ, mate. Fucking shove it on your face, mate. Uh, so, yeah, so you can take that mesh. You can conform it to your sculpt. You can adjust the points. You know, divide, relax, and boom. Face in the place. London. Um, so you can do this in, say, 3D Studio Max or Maya or even Blender. Um, pretty much any software where the vertices can conform to an underlying mesh. Uh, but I'm going to use uh, Topo Gun. Uh, because it's fucking sick, um, but it's the it is the version three beta, so it might be a bit strange in some places, maybe. But um, anyway. All right. So wherever your mesh is, you want to import in the low poly face starter, and just scale it and position it so that it's pretty much in front of your face. It, it doesn't have to be perfect, uh, but it just has to be close enough like this. And once you've got it in place, uh, you can just export it out as an OBJ. So in Topo Gun, you want to go to File, and then you want to do Load Reference Mesh, and that, and you want to choose your High Poly Sculpt. All right, and then you want to load in the Low Poly Face Starter, which um, you choose Load Mesh. All right, and once that's in, just go up here to select all, then go into the vertice settings and choose conform. And now we pretty much just have to move everything around. So it, to do this faster, I usually uh, enable the brush and crank the strength all the way up to 100. And now you can just move things around a lot easier. I'm not gonna worry about the other side for now, I'm just gonna focus on this side. And then we'll add symmetry after. So we'll pretty much just start putting these points in the same spot as the reference. Alright, so now we've got all the vertices in the right spot. Um, we're going to add in these um, extra edge loops in here. So enable your, uh, the normal tool up here. And then to select the edges, we're going to have to enable edges in the tool options. If we highlight over the middle, you can see it says R. And that's if I double click, that'll select um, a ring. Whereas if we scroll over on the other side, so the middle is ring, the other side towards the, um, the vertices is L, so that's for loop. So if we double click towards the vertice, it's going to um, highlight a loop for us. And then we can go over to the extrude tool and pretty much just drag out an extrusion in here. Uh, press B to go back to your brush tool and then basically just position these around the outside of the eyelid. And obviously we don't have enough, we don't have enough points yet, um, but that's what we'll do in a second. So just go down and do the same thing down to all these other ones. Um, so I'm just gonna double click this loop and just extrude that in. And then just move them manually. All right, I'm going to do another one. All right, that'll do for now. Uh, and then go down to the mouth, and we're just going to select this entire mouth and just extrude that in. And then again, just uh, correct this. So now we'll fix up our symmetry. Um, so if we go to the front view, if we drag now, we're going to miss some back face ones. So I'm going to tick the back face in the options and just drag a selection over all the vertices on this side. Just press delete. We'll see that we've got them all. Looks like it. Uh, and now we'll just, um, we want to make sure these are all in the middle. So I'm just going to drag a selection down this whole entire side there. Make sure they're all selected. And then we can go up to the symmetry options up here. And I can just click zero snap. And that's going to center them all to zero to the symmetry plane. Um, so we'll go back to perspective. So now you pretty much just add as much detail as you want. Let's do the eye first so we can get some more points in here. So if I double click this ring, 
it's going to select all the way up here. So if I go up here to the um, edge options here, we've got the connect edges option. So I can click that and it's going to add, um, it's going to add another loop in here. Um, so we can go through and do that. So I've, um, I've got a shortcut key to connect edges. Um, I just press control one. So if I double click here, I can do control one and it's going to add another edge loop in here. Um, and with these still selected, we can add another one um, already with, the, with these already selected, we can just do it again. So control one and then obviously it's going to add another edge loop. Um, but if that's too many at this stage, uh, what you can do is you can enable this um, tool over here, which is the um, slide tool. And now we can double click a loop and now we can slide this loop to somewhere else. So I can slide it across to say 30% and then go in here, double click and add another edge loop in here. We've got more resolution in here to start to shape the eye a lot more. So pretty much now is just go through and just add a fucking shitload of loops to everything. So. Right now we'll start to shape the eye a bit more with these loops in here. Um, pretty much now comes the fun part. So with the uh, with the brush tool, if you notice down here you've got different modes. So at the moment we're on move mode, so you can click on move and then move it around. But if I click on relax, um, now everything's going to relax nice and smooth. Um, however, you can leave it on move mode so we can still move them around. And if you hold shift and click, it's going to smooth it out as well. So now you can pretty much just go through and just smooth this whole model in uh, to make the vertices look a bit better. Um, just be careful. If you smooth on the edge, it's going to come in. So um, I'll just try and not to get too close to the edges. And there you go. So pretty much you've got your face done um, already. <laughs> so that's pretty quick. Um, so now all you have to do is pretty much just um, add symmetry. So you could do this, you don't have to do that, you don't have to do that in here, obviously you can just export it out as it is uh, and then just use symmetry in another program uh, but if you want to do it in here um, we have to, we're just going to um, zero out our um, middle verts again just go up to symmetry options and do zero snap so now I'm going to enable faces and do select all now go to um, the symmetry options up here and do create symmetry Okay, now untick faces again, uh, do select none, uh, and now we just need to weld the middle together. So if we go back to front view, and I'll just choose only vertices, um, and then I'm just going to scroll scroll down the middle here, just make sure we don't have any random ones. Uh, so just hold control, and you can deselect any random ones. Uh, obviously need to do the other side as well. Looks good, alright, and then just go up to the vertices options and go down to weld vertices. Um, and let's have a look. Alright, so it does have a few issues in here, I've noticed. Um, it just seems to leave some edges behind, so just choose the edge option and just select these and delete these manually. Alright, um, so now you can just do one last little cleanup. Um, so while it's in, uh, while we've got it mirrored, we just enable symmetry now and just go and just do a quick little um, little smooth. Just try not to use it too much because um, I feel like, I, th I think it, it's probably because it's in the beta still. Um, the symmetry doesn't work the best. It seems to have a little, few little issues. Um, so that's why I tend to do it last. All right, so now I've got a nice retopologized face with uh, animation lines so that we can deform everything in the right spot. So yeah, so it's obviously good for um, 
you know, humanoid faces. So I thought I'd just try it out on a few different models and see how much we can get away with us using this um, base mesh. Um, and um, so yeah, so I've just got to, I'll just go through now and show you a few examples. Yeah, so as you can see, it, it worked out pretty well, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So hopefully, um, this was good and can help in some way. But if it does, let me know. Let me know if you try something using this method and tell me how it goes for you. And yeah, cheerio.